slavery, concentration camps, total takeovers of countries that have already been inhabited. We can all agree these are some of the worst things humans have ever done. We look back on our mistakes trying to reflect on what we did and how to do better. But there is a saying, a saying that most people take lightly, a saying that most people take as a joke. But in fact, it is a truly horrifying truth. History repeats itself. We've seen it time and time again, and we just don't seem to learn. We just sit back and watch it happen. Ladies and gentlemen, the reality of our world today is that history is repeating itself, and we are wearing blinders. Horrible events that have already occurred are now repeating themselves, and we are not even aware. Look at what is happening in Afghanistan. The country has returned to complete turmoil. Look at the Muslim concentration camps in China. Look at all the human rights protests and riots. Or look at Russia's current invasion of the sovereign country of Ukraine. All these events have already occurred at some point in history. And instead of learning from these events, we are allowing them to happen again. Over the years, the people of Afghanistan have had to endure more war, occupation, fear, unease than anyone in the world ever should. But we told ourselves that by the end of it, the world would be a better place and the people of Afghanistan would be able to live without fear or chaos. But now, the United States and Canada have pulled their troops out of this war-torn country, leaving it without the proper aid it needs. In the last 200 years, Afghanistan has been invaded three times. First in the 1800s by the British, next in 1979 by the Soviet Union. Here we see history repeating itself, as another powerful country tries to rule over the population with brute force. With shootouts breaking out everywhere throughout the country, tanks and cannons rolling through the streets. Then the Soviet Union left in 1989, which gave the country roughly 10 years to rebuild before the members of NATO, an organization of countries, entered Afghanistan to help stop the Taliban. Their purpose, guaranteeing the freedom and security of its members through military and political means. And they did help for a little bit, but then the country went back up in flames. And now, without the proper foreign aid, Afghanistan is almost completely under terrorist control. And once again, we sit back and watch as the people of Afghanistan suffer. Now look at what is happening in China. In 2017, the Chinese Communist Party government of China decided to allow the construction of internment camps for Uyghurs and Muslims. Or, better known for their atrocious nature in World War II, concentration camps. These internment camps have been used to indoctrinate many Muslim people, and the people living in these camps have had to survive whilst being mistreated, raped, and more. In 2020, the ICC, or International Criminal Court, started an investigation into these horror camps. A New York Times article helped shed some light on the situation. It said that they would not, for the moment, investigate crime allegations that China had committed genocide against the Uyghurs, a predominantly Muslim ethnic group. The ICC knew about the crime allegations and still decided not to investigate. The International Criminal Court turned their back on the Uyghur and Muslim people being abused. How can we live with ourselves if we keep turning a blind eye to the people who are begging, screaming, pleading for someone to help? I can't understand it. Martin Luther King, Nelson Mandela, Rosa Parks. These are only a few names among the many people who stood up for human rights throughout history. But did their impact actually create equal rights? Look at those names again. Three main people who had to stand up. Three different times in history. And they are only a small amount of people who put their lives on the line for equality. Look back to 2020, with the Black Lives Matter movement shocking the world, all the attention on the news, the radio, all the riots, all the brutal killings, it was chaos. But we knew it was for a better cause. It was for equality. We've seen this before, again and again and again. The Underground Railroad, Martin Luther King's Walk for Freedom, Rosa Parks' defiance in 1955, the killings of George Floyd and Breonna Taylor. The list is endless. In conclusion, all these events are proof that history is repeating itself. We must wake up, take the blinders off, and do something about it. The thought of knowing that someone is in desperate need of help and not doing something about it makes me sick. It disgusts me to my very core how some people can turn a blind eye to the less fortunate. I say that if history decides to repeat, let's make sure it doesn't go down the same way it has in the past. Let's make sure the history books remember us. Let's change something for real for your kids, for my kids, for our kids' kids, so that every generation after us can live a better life.